my video for January the 11th, 2018, which is the first video of my eighth year of making daily videos, is entitled Prison Planet with Demons in Charge. Okay, this is my first video in year eight of making daily videos. As I've said many, in many other videos, I grew up loving God as I was taught he was, which is good, loving, and the three omnis, powerful, present, and knowing. Well, I'm sorry, but none of those descriptive terms seem true to me. It's not good what I see unfolding on this planet, and it certainly is not loving at all. As for being omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient, if any of those qualities are true, then God is neither good nor loving. On the contrary, God would have to be a psychopath or sociopath. The religious dogma we've been sold is just a bill of goods intended to keep us complacent and accepting of the gross criminality we witness on a worldwide scale. Yes, I can accept that people can repent, and I am willing to forgive as long as they bring forth fruit of repentance. I do not accept deathbed repentance, though. An individual cannot make recompense for sins committed when he or she is about to die and knows it. That only makes a mockery of justice. When will the demons be stopped? When will God demonstrate love? I'm waiting. Where's the proof? I attended a meeting last night, which was... The focus was on manifestation and how to manifest in our lives. And the speaker talked about manifesting money, talked about manifesting cars, talked about manifesting expensive houses. And it was all about things. And we were supposed to write down what we wish to manifest in our lives next. And I wrote down, I want to see manifestation of the kingdom of heaven on earth in my lifetime. That's not something new, of course. That's what I've wanted my entire life. Now, of course, when I was younger, I had the responsibility of uh, taking care of children, and other things uh, that were essentials to being on this planet. And so my focus was not on bringing forth the kingdom of heaven now, but as time went on, I began, and I began to study and learn things. I learned that 2012 was the time of the shift, or some said that it was off a year and it was actually 2011 and that's when I started making my daily videos that was again January the 11th 2011 that I made my that I began making daily videos I had made a few videos before that uh, at the new way but they weren't daily videos they were sporadic but I made a commitment seven years ago uh, to make videos until the kingdom of heaven actually manifests. I didn't know it was going to take this long. And again, I'm not about manifesting things. Now, I'd like to have a relationship. That would be really nice to have someone to share intimate moments with and to share walks with and not walk alone all the time. It would be nice to have someone to even go shopping with once in a while, buy food and what, what things are needed. It would be nice to travel. I did get to go to Australia a couple of years ago. 
Um, that was a wonderful thing, although, again, very disappointing when my hostess for the trip pulled the rug out from under me after only being there for five days. Folks, I've experienced, as many of us have, disappointment after disappointment after disappointment throughout my life. And I've longed with all of my heart to see the rights or the wrongs righted <laughs> and to see a shift in human experience. I don't buy the thing that we learn through suffering. What do we learn through suffering? We don't learn positive things. We learn that whatever we do, it doesn't matter. We're still going to get piled up a heap of troubles, a heap of challenges that seem insurmountable. And I don't mind a little bit of challenge. But sometimes it just seems overwhelming to me that life can go on and on and on. And so many people I see suffer. So many people I see are facing tremendous impasses that they can't seem to get beyond. And humanity as a whole is made up of people that are hurting and people that seem to be riding high on the hog and doing awful things. Pedoph pedophiles, stealing from people, taking and taking and taking and never giving, giving, giving. Never putting out something that will lift us up, but only trying to keep us down. They've even gone so far as to make humans or human-like creatures that aren't human, that have no soul, that have no conscience, that can commit crimes without any remorse because they don't have a soul. They don't have a conscience. They're robots. And this is the kind of world that the elite is trying to create. This is their new world order. This is their game plan to dominate the whole planet and to not let good rise up, to not let love be the way of it. No, they want fear because they feed off of fear. They feed off the energy of our fear. I'm not afraid of dying. And as I said last night, I mean, I, when I talk to God often, not all the time, but often when I talk to God, I say, God, it's time to shit or get off the pot. It's time to stop making excuses. It's time to bring the kingdom of heaven into manifestation. It's time to take out those that don't repent and take them wherever they can go, where they can see a, a more clear way, not of how to control others, but how to love others. Wouldn't it be wonderful if our leaders were loving beings instead of tyrants? Wouldn't it be wonderful if we lived on a planet where people were so secure that they would be able to give and give and, and share because abundance was flowing in every direction from every direction. And we didn't have to struggle. People say, well, if we didn't have to struggle, we'd never get anywhere. I don't believe that. I'm sorry, I know that's what we've been told, but I don't believe it. And perhaps I've never believed it. Anyway, I'm starting my eighth year. I don't know how long I'm going to go. I don't know what changes are coming. I'm here now today. This is my message. Thank you for listening. Namaste.